Today we're going to install a Geisley trigger in a Wyndham Weaponry VEX rifle. Remove the lower from the upper. First remove the pistol grip with a 3 16th Allen wrench. Note the safety detent spring is in the hole in the pistol grip, just keep it in there. And there's a detent in here for the safety. Just drop that out and note that it goes how it goes back in. It goes with the point side in when you put the safety back in. Remove the safety, drop the hammer and punch the hammer pin out first and hold it so it doesn't fly out on you and then the trigger pin next and a little goes like that All right. okay the, the trigger comes with the trigger pin through the disconnector and what I like to use is a little cutoff pin about the same diameter as the trigger pin which is about 151 to 153 thousandths and I push it through and use it as a slave pin to keep the disconnector in place when you're installing it in the lower. It makes it much easier to get this all together and get it lined up right. They give you this little tube of lubricant. Just smear it around the pin, basically, like that. Put your trigger in. Push the trigger in, lining the pinhole up with the receiver hole, and start your pin in. Then just drive it home. Drive the pin through, knocking the slave pin out the other side. And you may have to press down a little bit on the trigger to get it so it'll knock all the way through. But just make sure that both sides of the pin are even, like that. This is your hammer. Um, it comes with two of these retaining pins. You only need one of them. They, I think they send an extra one in case you lose one. So you can just set one of them aside. The other one goes over. You'll see a flat right there by the pinhole and that's where that goes, just like that. As with the trigger, you also want to lubricate the outside of the pin. Like that. Both legs of the hammer need to be on top of the trigger pin, like so. Okay. okay, now push the hammer all the way down until you line up the, the pinhole. This is a little bit tricky sometimes. and knock it through. You might have to wiggle this a little bit to get it to go all the way. And just knock it till, through until it's flush on both sides. Just like that. Now put your safety back in. Safety detent in the hole. Like that. And then make sure the spring, safety detent spring and the pistol grip goes over the detent. Squeeze it down like that and then retighten your pistol grip screw. Then do a function test to make sure everything works normally. Check the safety. And that's it. Just reassemble the lower onto the upper and you're ready to go.